Well, I think most people have their own system when it comes to sanding. And so last week when I had mentioned that I use 120 grit paper and as I'm using it, the paper turns into a finer grit, like a 220 or something. Uh, a few people disagreed with that and that's fine and, and that may be the case. But I guess really the end game is do I have a smooth piece of wood without any swirls? And using that process, I do. So that's what I'm going for, trying to get a good finish on the board in as few steps as possible. So what I'm doing is I'm using a 120 grit C weight paper, and I want to stress the uh, C. Basically, sandpaper is in three weights, A, B, and C. C is generally used in machines like a palm sander, and you can use B in a, a machine also, but A is pretty much strictly for hand sanding. So I'll sand with the orbital sander or the palm sander using the C weight 120 silicone carbide paper. And then once I finish with that, then I'll switch to sanding by hand an A weight paper, uh, generally 220. With an A weight paper, you're less likely to round the edges of your project over. Uh, the C weight paper is just a little bit stiffer and you can have a tendency to round those edges over which generally if you're building a, a modern piece of furniture it doesn't really look good. So uh, another thing is how to cut sandpaper. Well the sandpaper is designed to be cut into quarters and it's as simple as creasing it and then just ripping it in half and then you can rip that half into a quarter and these quarters fit perfectly into your palm sander. So this quarter of the sandpaper will fit into the palm sander but for sanding by hand it's really nice to have a lot of surface area for sanding. You really shouldn't go and, and do one of these things where you sand like this because this is a good way to get scratches in your project. I'll always sand with the sandpaper sort of just under my thumb and my palm applying all the pressure, always sanding with the grain. So just a quick recap, once I've finished sanding with 80 grit on the orbital disc sander, then I move on to the palm sander using a C weight 120 silicone carbide paper. Once I finish sanding with the palm sander, then I sand the project by hand using an A weight 220 sandpaper. Once I start to apply the finish, then I'll sand in between each coat with 320 silicone carbide, also an A weight paper. And right now the chairs have three coats of finish on them and they'll be finished when they have five. And I'm using uh, water locks, which is a tongue oil finish. And then the chairs will cure for about seven to 10 days and then they'll be hand rubbed, which is a whole nother video, but maybe I'll get into that. I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for tuning in.